Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the July 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. Um, as always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any messages I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified of future videos that I post. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close the last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at July. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, um, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. But let's see here in terms of a summary card for what has happened these last few weeks, we have the card efficiency. So likely this has been a pretty busy month for you Pisces. Lots going on, got a lot done. Um, I always like to see the efficiency card because I like to get stuff done. So but let's see what messages we have coming through here for you. The first card that we have is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is wishes coming true. This is material abundance. This is good health. This is all around a good card. Um, so likely your hard work has led to more money. Your hard work has led to better health. Your hard work in general has led to more abundance. Super, super neat to see there. The next card that we have is the Star card. The Star card is a card of renewal, hope, and our clarity. Um, you could also be in the spotlight with this big star at the top here, Pisces. Um, so you could be getting recognized for some of your hard work and all that you've gotten done as well. Then at the bottom here, we have the Ace of Wands. Anytime we have an Ace card, it is a card of newness. In the case of the Ace of Wands, this is new project, new inspiration, new urge to create. So it does feel like there's something new poking through on the horizon here for you. But let's clarify and see what other messages I can give you. Woohoo, that Nine of Cups energy is really strong. The first clarifier we have is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is, is a card of surprise gifts. That's what this fourth cup is coming in over here. Um, so again, you've really been awarded for this hard work, for getting lots done, this efficiency. We have several cards telling you that here, but that Four of Cups is just echoing that reward. The next cup, the card that we have, Pisces, is the Nine of Cups again. Again, that's wishes coming true. That's material abundance. That's good health. Um, again, all of that hard work paying off. Being able to accomplish and have anything that you want because of that hard work. Um, and then at the bottom here, we have the Lover's card. The Lover's card is a card of partnership, deep love, strength together. Anytime we have two of something on a card, though, it could also indicate a decision. So there could have been a decision that had to happen, possibly the decision to per pursue this new project, idea, inspiration, urge to create. Um, but this new idea could also be coming with partnership. So... Let's see now though, kind of jumping forward, taking a look. Let's see what we have coming in general for the month of July. The next card that we have is Clarity. Clarity is a wonderful summary card. As we go through life, we get more and more and more and more clarity and then things change. And guess what? We go through and we get again more and more and more and more clarity. Um, so a month of clarity coming for you. It's always good. Knowledge is power. We like to know as much as possible, have clarity on as much as possible. But let's see what messages we have coming through here. Um, do you want to point out the cup energy seems to be pretty strong in this column. Cups are water signs typically, and it's very emotional energy. But let's see here, taking it from the top, we have the six of cups to start out with. This is a card of reflection, um, oftentimes. It can also be a card of reunion, so you see these two people being reunited. Um, but I do feel like some of you are going to be doing some reflection, possibly with this new clarity, this new information you have. It could prompt you to reflect. 
The next card that we have is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card of having lots of different things going on. You see here, if we look at these cups, there's something different in every single cup here, Pisces. Um, but again, this is having lots of different choices, lots of different options. It could just be lots of different things going on. I would say in general, July is gonna be a pretty busy month for you, Pisces. Um, but sometimes this could indicate a lack of commitment as well. Um, something to keep in mind when we have all these options, when we have all these things going on, it can be hard to focus in and work on just one thing. Then at the bottom here, we have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a very solid and practical card. Um, take this as a reminder that this needs to be you, Pisces. I'm not saying that you're not solid, practical, and wise, but especially as you have so many different things going on, this potential for a reunion, you wanna make sure that you're really clear thinking, which ties again in nicely with the clarity there, but just being solid, practical, and wise. This could also be an indicator of an investment opportunity too with the King of Pentacles. You could be making a new investment in July as well. But let's clarify and see what other messages I can give you here. The first card that we have is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a card of desire for long-term security. I actually really, really like the pairing of the Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles together because the Six of Cups is like reflecting back on where you've been, what you've accomplished, and the Four of Pentacles is looking forward and thinking about all the things that you want in the future. So again, really nice pairing of figuring out where you've been and where you wanna go. The next card that we have is the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a card of giving or receiving help. It's a very generous card. What I'm seeing here, Pisces, is that somebody may come in and guide you through some of these events, because again, there's a lot going on with that Seven of Cups totally different energies, lots going on. So you might turn to somebody here for some support to even just talk through the pros and cons of all that's going on. Um, so again, I do feel like somebody coming in and supporting you this month as you navigate through all those different options and all the different busyness that's happening. At the bottom here, we have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is an interesting card. This is like heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression. Um, sometimes this comes through as like past trauma or healing that needs to still happen. And Pisces, what I'm really getting here is like, I'm just gonna give an example. Let's say when you were younger, you maxed out a credit card and it's like now you're more solid, practical, and wise, and know not to max out that credit card again. You could also be hesitant to make an investment because of some sort of past trauma or incident that happened, but just keep in mind that this Three of Swords, these things that happened, happened for a reason. They taught you lots of lessons. You have new clarity now because of them. You're able to reflect and make smarter decisions going forward. So I get some hesitation based on a previous event as well. But now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. So think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, really anything you think of when you think of money, Pisces. The first card that we have is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of keeping and maintaining boundaries. Um, when I see this card, it means a couple different things, but one of the big things here is like knowing when to say no. So we've already talked about July is probably going to be a pretty busy month for you, but like if you are truly tapped out or maxed out on work, make sure you communicate that. Like don't be the yes man or yes woman where you just agree to anything that comes your way. It's okay to have boundaries and work. Um, you may need to set boundaries too in the number of hours that you're working a week. If you only get paid for 40 hours a week and you have 60 hours of work to do, we want to try and make sure that there's that good balance. So again, that persistence is key here with that nine of wands and really setting those clear boundaries. The next card that we have is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a very patient card. That patient is, of course, you. But this is also an indicator of a new job, raise, or some sort of money news. So love to see the Page of Pentacles in the money column. Really great money card. 
And then moving on down a little bit further, we have the Wheel of Fortune. For those of you that have watched my readings before, you know that I love the Wheel of Fortune. It is a card of good fortune, good luck, it's a turning point, um, all around really stellar money cards. So definitely feeling like there's some good money shifts coming for you, although you do seem to be quite busy and hardworking at this point, Pisces. But let's take a look and clarify. Um, the Ten of Cups is the first card that we have. I was just telling you that the Wheel of Fortune is my favorite card in the entire deck. Well, so is the Ten of Cups. Those are my two go-to, my two very favorite cards. So you get both of them in the same column. Um, but the Ten of Cups is truly the card of everything. We have the full rainbow, a happy couple, kids playing, the grass is green, there's running water, there's a house in the background. This is like the card of everything good. Um, it's family, contentment, total happiness, total love and support. Um, really, really good card. You are supported at work, and it does seem like you have a lot going for you. Um, this is a great card if you're trying to buy a house too, of course, with the house in the background. But another just good indicator. Again, I know that you're busy, but overall it seems like you got it all going for you in terms of money and career. The next card that we have is the Devil card. The Devil card kind of comes through as not very good habits usually. This is a card of addiction, greed, envy, materialism, obsession. Um, I feel like some of you are definitely, again, working too much. We're missing that kind of balance in life of doing something and not doing something. Um, so there seems to be a little bit of out of whack on the work-life balance, so do watch out for that. Um, and I do think many of you are going to be getting a pay raise or promotion. And I'm just going to throw this out here. When you get the more money, make good choices with it. You're already doing good with it, but that devil card is oftentimes like an overspending card. So think before you splurge. Then at the bottom here, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a card of trusting your intuition, um, trusting your gut. It is a very spiritual card. When I see this, this means that like your intuition is like off the charts, Pisces. And use that to your advantage. So as you go into this new job, as you set these boundaries, as you hit this turning point, um, do really trust your gut, trust your intuition to navigate yourself through whatever your new or next scenario will be. Now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to love. So think family, friends, relationships, children. Again, anything that we associate with love. The first card is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is like, when I see this card, it's like, go be active. Try something new. Do something new. Go on a date night. Try a new dating app. This is about a new activity that you haven't done, Pisces. So keep that in mind. If you're single and seeking, try a new dating app, go to a new location. If you're in a relationship, go do like a paint and sip wine thing, go to a county fair, go to a concert. It's like go do some activity, try something new. Love to see the Page of Wands. It's a nice like spicy change up to what's going on. The next card that we have is the Devil card. We just talked about the Devil, so you have that side by side. Again, there is something out of whack with your work-life balance right now. It's coming through in the work column and it's coming through in the love column. So just be thoughtful of that. Make sure you set good boundaries. You're not overworking. Um, again, I feel like there's maybe a little bit too much time being spent on work right now and not enough time being spent at home. So just be cautious, aware of that, and try and shift that and balance that out a little bit when you have the ability. Oh my gosh, and you have side-by-side -side high priestess. This is insane. Um, lots of duplicate clear messages here. But this is, again, it doesn't really like get better than this in terms of spiritual illumination. This is very intuitive. Your gut feeling is so on point in July. Make sure you trust your gut on everything, Pisces. This is trusting your gut, trusting your intuition. Now let's take a look and clarify here. The first clarifier that we have is the Wheel of Fortune. I was just telling you about the Wheel of Fortune and how it's my favorite card in the entire deck and you get it a second time. So again, that's that card of good fortune, good luck, and a turning point. Um, but I was saying that this is like time to spice things up, whether you're single or in a relationship, you need to make some sort of change. So we're at a turning point here to a more spicy relationship and spicy in a positive manner, of course. 
The next card that we have is the Three of Pentacles. This is a card of collaboration. This is a card of teamwork. Um, I do think that you could possibly, especially for those of you in a relationship, be communicating a little bit more in your relationship. Like if you need to work late that night, do make sure that you tell your family that you're working late that night. Just don't do it, if that makes sense. Or like if you're overwhelmed or you may even like need to come home and like talk about the meeting and don't make the whole night about work. Like don't work all night or excuse me, don't work all day and then go home and talk all night about work. But it's like something about communication is going to help balance out this work life piece that's out of back out of whack out of balance right now and then at the bottom here we have the eight of swords the eight of swords is an interesting card it's very much so a card of self-imposed restrictions um you see this person is blindfolded their arms are bound down but then there's all these swords stuck into the ground behind them so this person can very easily like wiggle their way back and cut themselves free and this, again, is all about trusting your intuition. We have two side-by-side -side cards here. It, again, doesn't get much better than that. Your intuition is like screaming at this point, Pisces, but don't second guess it. The Eight of Swords is all about restricting yourself and you're on point this month. Your intuition doesn't get much better than this, so don't question it. No need to second guess, no need to think about the what ifs. Just trust that gut feeling. Okay, now let's move into our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card expectations. I love this card. It's even the card that's on the deck for this, for this deck of cards, or it's on the box for the deck of cards. Super neat card and wonderful meaning behind it. This is like all about July exceeding your expectations. Um, you like can't set expectations high enough because things are going to be so good. So love to see that type of energy. Let's see what messages we've got going on here. Okay, starting from the top here, we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a card of freedom. This is creativity. This is about being free spirited. Um, again, the meaning that comes through here is freedom. Although you're going to have a busy month, I feel like you just like are free to do what you want. Um, things of course are going to be exceeding your expectations. You kind of just have to roll with this. Go out, balance out your work life and just soak in and enjoy the month. Um, but there is actually going to be a shocking amount of freedom even giving your work-life balance issues that's going on here right now. The next card that we have is the Knight of Swords. If you look at this card, both the horse and rider are moving very quickly here. This indicates a quick change. Um, and you very well could just like wake up one day and have this sense of freedom or have your work-life balance balance back out or realize that things are exceeding your expectations. But this indicates a very, very quick change coming. And that's a great quick change if it's leading to freedom and it's leading to exceeding your expectations. At the bottom here, we have the Judgment. The Judgment is a card that's always favorable for you, Pisces. This is clarity. Um, and again, this is favorable in your, it's always favorable for you. So again, I'm not sure how, because you have kind of a busy month going on, but freedom is a big one. We're shifting to the point where I have the clarity and things are going to be exceeding your expectations. So nice ending note here. Let's clarify and see what other messages I can give you. At the top here, we have the Justice card. The Justice card is, again, that favorable for you, very similar to the Judgment type card. Um, so again, I'm not sure where this shift is coming from or how, but favorable for you. Love to see it. The next card that we have is the Hierophant. One of the meanings of the Hierophant is expectation. So exceeding your expectations this month. Love it, love it, love it. And then at the bottom, we have the Nine of Wands. This is a card of keeping and maintaining boundaries. Again, I don't know how, but you, Pisces, will figure it out. The work-life balance situation is going to balance it out. And you're going to have a really, really rocking good July, exceeding your expectations, having that freedom, having that real happiness coming through. So nice reading all around. 
At this point, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, Pisces, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the seven of clubs. This is the number 20 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two, we have the five of hearts. This is number two card. That's also a yes. And for question number three, we have the six of clubs. This is number 43 card. That's going to be a no. So yes, yes, no for you, Pisces. We're also going to pull a card from our healing stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of July. Your crystal this month is dolomite, which is good for grounding and endurance. It helps keep you very authentic. Um, it's great for trust, stability, endurance. Um, and it also keeps you playful. We were saying you like need to go out, be creative, take action. So very fitting there. And then we have our healing note to end as always. Your healing note says, you t this too you will conquer. Thank you so much, Pisces, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Um, again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post future videos. If you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you again, Pisces, and have a wonderful July.